A very good afternoon to you. This is a Tech Guru uh, where we talk all things technical. Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Excel and specifically the VLOOKUP formula. Now this VLOOKUP formula is basically a Microsoft Excel function that searches for values in a column, stroke row, of a spreadsheet list or a table. And basically it stands for a vertical column lookup. So um, for it to work basically the data must be arranged vertically. Um, the reason I wanted to share this with you was that I use Excel regularly on a day-to-day -day basis um, and until about sort of three years ago I was doing a lot of manual entry and it just used to take hours. Now I thought there must be an easier way than this so I went to the internet to see what I could find and all of a sudden I found all these sort of great formulas that you could actually use which would save you loads of time um, and I thought it was fantastic so just really want to sort of share that with you on my YouTube channel today. Um, as I said, basically I used to do a lot of stuff manually in terms of working out revenue figures, sales figures, quantities, etc, price lists, price lists is the biggest area for me. And it just used to take me hours and that, since discovering this formula it's really made it very simple. So what I'm going to do today is just run through a basic example with you just to give you a flavour of what's involved. It looks quite daunting in terms of the formula, but obviously believe, and believe me, um, once you repeat that time after time again it soon becomes second nature so uh, what we'll do now is we'll go to the example and I'll, I'll guide you through it so here's the example spreadsheet uh, fruit and list sales for 2016 and as you can see it's organized by the product number which I like to be unique um, fruit color the product description the price and then you've got sales data for the first six months of 2016 with a total column at the end. Now, basically, the data needs to be arranged in such a way that the lookup values appear sort of in the left hand column. So, for the purposes of this exercise today, we're going to be looking at product number and specifically of apples because I want to look at the total sales of apples within the first six months of this year. So, but the data we can retrieve can be to the uh, any column to the right of this. So, as I said today, we're going to be using the numerical information. It could be the sort of the turnover figures, the price, um, I guess, or even the product description. So you'll get a fl f flavor for this as we work through the exercise. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to another tab called Sales Turnover 2016. Now, I prepared this earlier. And by the way, um, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel because there'll be a lot more sort of um, videos made in the future around all things technical so please feel free to subscribe which is the bottom right hand side there's a button there for you to click on um, but going back to the exercise as you can see here we've pulled out all the sort of specific Apple information so what I want to do is basically find out the total sales per item line so the total red apple green golden delicious um, yellow apple Rayburn pink lady and Cox and then I want to do a total for the first six months of the year so Let's look at this V4 V lookup formula. So if we start by typing equals V lookup, okay. Basically, the first point is going to be the lookup value. So what we're going to use is the corresponding product number. Now, this really needs to be unique because if it's not, it'll actually retrieve um, sort of the first match, and then obviously it will miss the other ones. So really, and I use it with unique product numbers, so that works best. So we just click on that there and then we're going to put comma and then the table array we're going to look at so where the information on the table is pulling it from so we need to pull it from this tab here so if we go back to it the first if you like cell needs to be a1 so i'm going to put dollar a dollar one and then the color sign which signifies the value two i.e the, the actual cell which it is valid till so if we look at this, we can see it's column K, row 23. So I'm going to put dollar K, dollar 23. Okay. Now we then need to look at the column in next number. So this works. So column A would be 1, B2, C3, etc. So it's column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So column 11. And then we just put comma 0. Okay. Um, so that's it really and as you can see here it pulls information through so on top 
product number 1289, the total sales in six months were 1532828. So you'll see that there. So what we can do is we can obviously type this formula in again, or you can copy it down. So let's just run through it again. So equals VLOOKUP, okay? And it's this column this time, we'll look at side that cell we're looking at this time. So we we'll put comma. And then again, we go to the spreadsheet. So we're going to do the first cell, which is A1. So dollar A, dollar one to fix it. And then the range two. Um, and then back down to the last cell on the page, which is this one here, which is K23. So dollar K, dollar 23. And as I said earlier, it's column 11 here. As we can count across one through to 11. And then we just put zero at the end. Okay. So as you can see here, 9999 nine, nine, nine on part number 5889, and if you look here, you'll see that that information is actually correct here. Now what I like about this also is the fact it doesn't have to be in any specific order, so we could have these all differently arranged, but because it's pulling it through from the actual unique product number, it will ensure that that cell information is always correct, obviously providing you sort of work within the line which you're looking for the information on. So what we can do is we can then copy that down there, okay? So that gives us a total for a subtotal for all those cells there. And then what we can actually type in here is um, me, total yeah, uh, sorry, total sales, okay? And then what we can do in there is we can either type, we can either go up here and do the formulation, okay? Or we can just literally type in equal sum, which is the way to to um, work it out. And then we just select the column. Another one there. And there we have it. That's the total sales for the year. So it's for the first half of the year, just purely on apples. So it's pretty straightforward, and I wanted to give you a flavour for it. Um, the information is not case sensitive either, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, as I said, just wanted to share that with you really, and uh, I hope it's been useful. Um, once you do one, you can sort of work back and sort of see how the formula works and there's lots of help on the internet. But it was just to share that with you, so um, I hope that's helped. I know it's basic, but that's the best place to start sometime. And um, that's it really. So until next time, I'd like to say goodbye. But in the meantime, as I said, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, hit the bottom uh, button on the bottom right hand corner which says subscribe. And uh, look, forward to speak to, um, look forward to posting some more videos soon. Thanks very much. Bye.